Welcome back, and Matt joins us now. I'll tell you, Matt, the weather, I think, lifted a lot of spirits today. It felt a bit like spring out there, so nice and sunny, although this morning was pretty cold. It was chilly this morning, and I'll show you how cold it was, but I think what happens though, Laurel, first of all, we've had so many gray, gloomy days. When the sun comes out, it's sort of glorious in and of its own right, but now that we're getting later into February, the sun angle is a little higher, so maybe we notice that it's a little bit stronger, so it was a beauty and still is, especially up at Timberline. Look at the clear blue sky against the backdrop of that white, white snow on the mountain. Just absolutely spectacular and Good news. The hotel is reopening today. Timberline Lodge and skiing will reopen tomorrow after being closed for a couple of days because they lost power to their to their pump house, which means they didn't have any water to operate with. So they had to close the hotel down, but they are accepting reservations again and skiing. The lifts will re reopen tomorrow and boy, that's just in time because there is a lot of snow on the way. We've got winter storm warnings through the run of the Cascades from the Canadian border down through Lane County. We've got winter storm warnings and watches across almost all of Northeast Oregon for the heavy snow that is coming your way and on Mount Hood and in the North Cascades. The amounts are really impressive. Let me show you what that's going to look like here with our forecast map. Now through about five o'clock tomorrow, it's just getting going only about four or five, maybe six inches there. So not a lot through the day tomorrow, but then Thursday night into Friday, it really ramps up about 15 inches by the time we roll into Friday morning. Keep snowing all day Friday and Friday night. And by the time we roll into Saturday, over two feet. And in fact, it may even be three feet in parts of the Cascades with a couple of feet in Northeast Oregon. So it is going to be powder time big time. And it's not just that we're getting a lot of snow. The snow level won't really climb above about 2000, maybe 2500 feet. So that means the quality of the snow will be really excellent for the Cascades. This will be some of the lighter, fluffier powder we've had all year long. And with that kind of, a, of depth, it's going to be a whole lot of fun up there. Now you will be driving in a snowstorm. You will, you will be skiing in a snowstorm. So factor that into your plans and make sure your car is ready for some really snowy travel because with the snowfall rates that we're going to get, ODOT can have a hard time in spite of their, their efforts can sometimes have a hard time keeping up. So be aware of that. Uh, there's about St. Helens. We need to fix this camera up a little bit. 47 degrees right now in Portland with the blue sky continuing here. As Laurel mentioned, it was cold this morning, down to 31 below freezing McMinnville, Hillsborough, Scappoose was 30, Vancouver 31, and it was a bit frosty out there with that fog. There were some slick spots on the roads, but then of course the fog melted away and left us with the sunshine and it was great. Even got below freezing over on the coast of Oregon and Washington with Salem also down to 31. The fog this morning wasn't really that extensive patch here around Portland, then down around Salem burned off and the high clouds haven't really thickened up very much yet, but they will. Here's the next weather system. This will go through pretty quickly. We'll see the rain turn to showers in the valley. So for the valley, a fairly typical winter pattern with rain turning to showers, but the strong westerly flow coming in. That's what's going to be the key to getting all of that snow up in the cascade. So again, we'll look for the clouds to increase tonight and the rain to roll in sometime after midnight and then turn to showers during the day. So even tomorrow we may get a few sun breaks in the valley, but notice the blue here in the cascades. It doesn't really let up. It just keeps going right on into Friday and even Friday night and Saturday morning before it finally does begin to relent during the daytime hours on Saturday. Saturday should turn into a really nice day with quite a bit of sunshine and a lot more sunshine on the way for Sunday. So again, 47 degrees, freezing level 3600 feet right now on the coast of Oregon. We're looking at rain tomorrow. It'll turn to showers later in the day. Slight chance of a thunderstorm. It'll be blustery. The winds will be out of the south gusting to about 40 miles an hour and highs will be in the 40s there as well. As we cruise over to the valleys, we're also looking at the clouds increasing tonight and then rain turning to showers and gusty winds out of the south 10 to 20 miles an hour. So, you know, enough to maybe send the garbage can lid down the street. If that's not uh, securely latched overnight. We'll drop into the mid 30s. It won't be as cold tomorrow morning as it was this morning because of those clouds that are rolling in right now and highs tomorrow again in the 40s, which is actually below average. Our cool weather, which really began later earlier this month in February, it is continuing. Now up in the Cascades, heavy snow, 10 to 20 inches. That's just tomorrow. Then more on the way tomorrow night through Friday and Friday night, as I discussed in the snow level about 2000 feet. So again, it is epic powder time up on Mount Hood. It's going to be really, really delightful if you can get there and just be safe doing that for Portland clouding up tonight, rain turning to showers tomorrow. And again, we'll stay above freezing tonight. High tomorrow about 48, 49 degrees. Here's a seven day forecast Friday. Lots of showers in the valley, but some sun breaks. The showers will end early Saturday morning and the rest of the weekend looks good. Not only the weekend, but the first few days of March Laurel also look pretty nice with 
highs in the 50s, which seems really warm. It's not for this time of the year. Just seems like it. I'm sensing a spring in our step. Thank you, Matt. You